Light of Finance is one of the most obvious, if not the most obvious, liquid staking play in the current market environment. It's the biggest liquid staking platform. I won't get into the fundamentals, I have a full review. Today I want to jump into the charts because we are at a very specific, very key level for Lido. Uh, and we're going to do some analysis and tell you what I'm looking into and what I believe uh, could happen in the near future for Lido. Before that, let's just uh, get a quick overview of what is the state of Lido right now. After the Shanghai update, they still have around 31-32% of all the staked Ethereum out there. This hasn't moved that much. Uh, net inflow outflow since the Shanghai, as you can see, there's been a little bit of an outflow, uh, but actually compared to the total Ethereum staked, which is like 18 million as of this moment, this is very insignificant in my opinion as a number. And Lido continues to be the market leader by far. So the second uh, one is Coinbase here on this list here, you can see on the side. And it hold, and Coinbase holds around 12% of the market share, while Lido is almost at 32%. And then the next biggest is Binance at 5.5. Uh, so really, really massive difference between Lido and the rest of the pack. Uh, current market cap, it stands around 1.7 billion, so quite a rich valuation, and that's one of the reasons I haven't bought Lido yet. And if we look into the chart, uh, this is the weekly chart, by the way, you see that we are seeing a very clear trend of higher highs and higher lows all through the launch and continuing actually to this day. Uh, so if this keeps doing it, um, potentially one of the targets, you know, if we get into a bear market here in the summer, uh, would be around $20, $30, uh, what I'm seeing, which also lines up with another support level here. Uh, maybe we can see this better on the daily. Let me just draw it here. Uh, but somewhere in here, I think it will be a great buying opportunity for light or long term. This is, of course, if you believe that altcoins will survive and that ETH staking will be a big thing. I definitely believe this will be a big thing. Um, and I definitely believe in the narrative of liquid staking. I have a whole separate video about the narratives and how I construct my portfolio. So I, I won't get into this uh, right now, but let's just jump on the daily and few things more that I wanted to show you. Let me just clean up some of those lines. Uh, but these are pretty much the key levels. So if you see here, we had an all-time high uh, failed breakout. I actually tried this trade here. I took a trade uh, in this area, but I cut it really quickly when I saw this failed breakout. Uh, this was around $3 and currently we're sitting at around $2, so 30% down from the all-time high. However, we are here on the daily at a very pivotal level around $2 and after the recent sell-off in uh, Bitcoin, you'll see that we have relative weakness here on the chart. Uh, we might bounce from here actually. Uh, I think it's a very strong support level. There are more than one reasons to bounce. Let me just turn on the moving averages. So you see we are stuck in between the 100 and 200 daily moving averages. Uh, so definitely I can see a bounce here, but if we have a scenario where we have a bounce uh, together with all the majors like Bitcoin and so on, because obviously Bitcoin drives the bus and it's the DJ and all the, the other metaphors of <laughs> pretty much making the entire market of crypto. So if we have something like this and we get a lower high here, I think the probability of going a little bit lower will be much higher. Um, and if this happens, I would definitely be more interested to get some Lido at a massive discount. So if we get into a billion dollar market cap, which will probably line up somewhere around here, around $1.20, or even if we're that lucky to get around the dollars or around this lower levels right here, I think definitely Lido could be a very good long term play because right now it's at 2 billion. It's in the top 50 of um, the all market cap coins, uh, but I can definitely easily see this doing a 10x uh, in a potential bull run just because of the value that it cares, carries and, you know, the amount of Ethereum stake that they have. Uh, and all the other things, this, like I said, the biggest liquid staking platform. Uh, but this, of course, uh, might not play out. So uh, obviously, as I mentioned, this will be a key area to watch and to buy. We might stop here at $1.80. Also, there's some area of support. 
mm, right here but definitely the major one that i'm looking into is a dollar 20 dollar 10 somewhere around this level i think will be a good buying opportunity uh what else so maybe if this doesn't play out we get something like a consolidation here in the low the higher range uh, to be honest i'm not that interested in buying is this high there are some other tokens in the liquid the derivative stake in the liquid staking derivative oh it's so hard to do this in one take uh so um there are less of rich valuations i would say uh other tokens uh, and if this doesn't drop i don't think it will be a bad play i still think it could potentially 10x but the risk to reward here uh, is much much different but if we see signs of strength and potentially somewhere uh, in the future maybe this or next year we see something like this higher lows forming and higher highs potentially here into resistance i think this could be a very good setup for trade also if you break above three dollars and obviously the rest of the market uh, plays along uh, right now there's not that much volume it's been significantly decreasing even on binance you can see it here um, that's why i'm really patient we're at support i'm not going to be buying this and if you want to go and have some day trades for example you can go down to the four hour chart and i think this is very clear level that you can play with around two dollars so what would be looking for is potentially a first scenario would be a uh, muted bounce so lower high here on this lower time frame and then a breakdown so you can potentially short this from here uh, with your risk set here to the top around four percent which is not that bad and the next level down will be probably around 15 to 20 percent at dollar uh, 70 so not a terrible risk to reward another way to play this if you want some more confirmation would be to wait for a breakdown and a close below two bucks um, potentially enter there depending where the pivot will be because it won't generate better risk to reward but then if we get something like a retest like usually happens on these and then a leg down then this could be a separate trade where you put your risk somewhere in here uh, which will be like, again four or five percent to make to the first target around 12 percent so just keep this in mind i think the chart is looking good uh, for both day trading and for potentially long term if we break down uh, here in the lower range uh, and yeah that's it that's everything for lido and make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed these videos and i'll see you in the next one